welcome back to my channel it's your girl Yanni and my hair is pink <laughs> this is the first video that I am filming with my pink uh, rose gold ombre and yes it is pretty pink right now but it will wash out it's a semi-permanent dye so I'm excited that it's this pink because with a couple washes it'll be right at the color that I want it to be so yes so I got pink nails, I got pink hair. Why not do some kind of a pinky kind of vibe on my eyes? So that's what we're doing today. And yeah, if you're interested in seeing the look that I come up with, I'm not sure. We're just gonna play with some makeup and see what happens. Then go ahead and grab a snack, grab a bottle of water, cause you know, we still trying to get healthy up in this joint and keep on watching. Okay, so we're gonna jump right in. I already moisturized my face and did my brows as you can see. I'm gonna go in with the Elf Putty Eye Primer. This is in the rose color or rose, however they say it. I've been really liking this eyeshadow primer. The consistency of this, I guess, is what I like. It's a little bit. It's like the putty primer, you know, that you can prime your face with. And it dries down, doesn't crease. So I think that's what, like, pulls me into this. Kind of primerish. I've never been really a primer girl. Me, I like this one. This is a little drier. So, for eyeshadow palettes today, we are gonna use the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dream palette. It looks like this. I've only used this once, and this was what I had in, um, you know, available because everything is pretty much packed, and I just kind of grabbed some stuff. But I also have here. This is in my makeup to go the Kathleen Lights and Colourpop curated um, palette. This is the Moon in the Stars, Moon something palette. So I'm actually going to use this first because I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to take this color right here, which Forget. it's probably from her dream street palette but I'm just gonna take it it's like a peachy color and I'm just going to use that as my transition shade in my crease and we're gonna create some kind of a look I don't know what we're gonna do yet I was maybe thinking halo eye I know you guys it's just that I if I don't do a halo eye I don't have to do wing liner and I'm not really feeling wing liner at the moment I know what is that about but it's just so much easier to do your makeup without winged liner so that's why I'm just been like not doing wing liner now we're gonna jump into the strawberry dream palette so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this color right here, Skyline, which is a tiny bit deeper than that color that we used from the ColourPop. I'm just gonna take that and I'm just gonna put that right on top of that other transition shade. Yeah, it's just a little bit deeper. I think I'm just gonna go with the Halo Eye. My kids are home because they're on spring break. And then um, as of like a few days ago, they said that school was going to be out until April, April 15th, all in Florida. So that's not very, you know, good news for us parents. And I'm gonna go in with a thinner crease brush and I'm gonna go ahead and take this color right here, the color Sunset, and I'm going to start working that on my outer V. And I have to be careful because I know that these are pigments and they will stay in my eyes. But we want to do a pink inspired like look. I think I'm gonna do a halo eye. I'm just gonna take some of that in here. Be very careful. I just like the way that halo eyes look. They tend to just look, make my eyes look bigger, especially because I have like that lazy eye and the hooded eyes. Okay, so yeah. And 
today is my son's, my two babies' last day at their daycare. So I am getting ready to take some cupcakes in so that they can have a treat on their last day. Now I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush and that first color or the skyline color from here. It's a peachy color and I'm just going to blend, make sure there's no harsh lines. Just lightly, lightly going over it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use concealer for the middle of my eyes because I did go a little, a little far with my shadow, and I want the inside to pop. So I'm gonna take a flat. Actually, no. I'll just take this because it's like a flat little Dofa sponge, and we're gonna just go right in the middle. And look up and then kind of doing like a cut crease but like a halo cut crease so I know that right here is where I need to have it finish and I'm just kind of using the brush to like blend a little bit And this is just my flower, flower Beauty Concealer. And this is in the color Light. So same thing, I'm gonna go down the middle, and then look up, and then that kind of indicates where my cut crease. I always take it up like a tiny bit more, just cause I know my eyes. And then again, like kind of blending out the concealer. So now with a flat brush, I'm going to just take this and just make sure that this is all nice and like blended. This is just a clean brush from e.l.f. Just want to make sure there are no harsh edges. I'm going to take this color right here, Sweet Dream. I'm going to put that in the middle with my finger because the finger is the best application for like a shimmer. And we're just gonna... So now with that little packing brush, I'm just gonna pick up some and I'm gonna go as close as possible, make sure that that whole area has the shimmer. I'm gonna go in with this deep color right here and see if I can like mesh them together kind of go from like the dark to the light so that there's not too much of a crazy break See, so it's not like a harsh line, kind of. I'm gonna do that to the same same thing on the other eye. I'm not going back into sunset with this brush. I'm gonna intensify because with all that blending, you kind of lose some of the color. And then on top, I want to make sure that that's the most intense color because that's what we. Uh, working with again going into that skyline color and just kind of making sure everything is nice and blended nothing too harsh I'm gonna go ahead and get a black gel liner and I'm going to tight line tell you being quarantined with my children gotta tell you not the fun thing and then we're in the middle of packing so a lot of their stuff is packed man was that the wrong thing to do so I'm gonna take a thin line of black liquid liner and I'm just gonna put it as close as possible to the lash line we're not gonna wing it out 
because I am going to do false lashes. Because I just feel like when you have a halo eye, false lashes is just the way to go. I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on. Sorry if this is going fast, but I do have to be at my son's school by 2.30. And it's already 2.05. And this is just my lash, my Pixie Lash Lift 188. I have been loving this new trick that I learned with lashes. It's like the best thing ever for me. It makes putting lashes on so much easier. So being that it's so much easier, I can do it more. It's crazy. I don't know why anybody didn't think of it earlier. Maybe they did and they didn't share with anybody. My son took my lash tweezers. I just gotta use regular tweezers. How easy that was oh my god it still amazes me look at that boom 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 lashes on tell you quickest trick can't believe i didn't think of it earlier it amazes me every single time then we're gonna move on to the face i'm gonna use the elf poreless putty primer i'm using you guys know Man, I haven't put I haven't done makeup in a little bit. My face is breaking out, as you can see, all through here because this quarantine has me like stressed out. Plus, moving has me stressed out, and then it's just been crazy with the kids home. Like, it's just been insane. I don't want to look at the news. I don't want to look at Facebook. I don't want to look at anything. All right. Now we're gonna go in with our foundation. Our foundation is gonna be the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I haven't used this in oh so long, but I always love the finish of this. Use my Eco Tool sponge. Look at that, how pretty. So my face is breaking out because I haven't really done skincare. Like I haven't been cleansing my face every night, and I haven't been cleansing my um. You know doing like my skincare routine every night so my face is taking it out on me you have to keep up with your stuff if you really want it to you know stay cleansed and everything and I tell everybody that so I mean it's just me not listening to myself I haven't like shaved my face and done like all that because I haven't been up and up with my skincare which I know is kind of crazy and I will it's just like I said a lot of my stuff is packed so what am I gonna do all right we're gonna go in with two concealers I'm gonna go in with the pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer from Colourpop and I'm just gonna put some of that here not very much And then I'm gonna go in with the Flower Beauty one. This one's like super light, that's why I mixed the two. So this one's a tad bit dark, if you see. Just put it right there. Okay. And now we can go in. I really just wanted to play with makeup today. I haven't played with makeup in so long. I felt like, what's going on? You know, because I'm not going anywhere. I'm quarantined, so I'm like, what am I gonna do? All right, let me take this little brush right here and I'm just gonna blend this concealer right in here. 
and now we're going to go in with my favorite powder, my Derma Blend powder. And I'm just going to peek a little bit right under my eye. Anywhere I set that concealer. And my sons are coming to get me because we have to go. We are going to finish up the eyes, so I'm going to go ahead and take this smudger brush and I'm going to take that sunset color really close to my waterline. I'm going to take the same brush into that skyline color and I'm just going to like blow it out a little bit on the bottom, just kind of take it down. Same brush, I'm going to go ahead and go into this lightning color and I'm going to just put that in my inner corner, give it some brightness. Gonna go ahead and go in with that gel liner from ColourPop and run that on my waterline. All right, I'm going to do my bronzer. I'm gonna use the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in Suntan 03. blush I'm going to take the Milani I'm going to take the Blossom Time Rose Milani blush I'm just now we're going to set our face with the Mario Badesco setting spray just kind of let all those powders like melt in And then I have a couple of products here that I wanted to try. This is the e.l.f. Wow Brow. So we're going to do that because I already put my foundation on. This is in the color Brunette. It's a fiber gel for your brows. have a product from ColourPop. This is the TLC BFF Duo and this is in the color Plum and Get It and Charmer. So well, I already put black liner so we'll have to use this another time. And then the mascara. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe we'll use it on our lower lash. Highlight. We're gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter and Precious Petals. Okay, so we're gonna do a nude lip, I guess. Because this is such a bright, like, eye that we're just going to do a new lip. And for lips, I'm going to use the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF. Overdrawing my lip just a little bit. And this is the Luxe Lip from ColourPop in Layover. 
which is like my perfect nude. And then I'm just gonna go over it with a gloss. This is my e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in Sparkling Rosé. And this has like a little pink tinge to it. And this is the final look. If you guys enjoyed seeing the transformation I did, inspired by my hair color, then please like this video, of course, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell down below so you can get notified every time I upload videos, which is on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, you know, if life permits. I am going to set my face with this Revolution Hyaluronic Hydrating Essence Spray with pink grapefruit extract. And then I am out the door because I have to go. Alright, let's see. I don't want to mess up my hair, but. Mm, it smells super yummy. Okay. All right. That's it, you guys. Thank you again, and I will see all you beauties in my next video.